All right, guys, I can't believe I wasn't recording. I was just, uh, you know, uh, spending the days doing some small stuff just to let the days go by till we get some uh, phantom spawn because I want to do uh, slow falling potions and stuff. So I went and was going for the ink sacs from the squid and then I saw some drowned spawned and one of them had a trident. And you can't believe, you know, we already got three wither skeleton skulls from 19 wither skeletons. This was the first drown I killed in, in this world, I think. Look at that. It dropped. The first one. The first trident I see. It dropped. We're also going to watch here. We want to, to drown. Yes, I killed one drowned. It's so sick. I have no idea what my luck are. This is so, so sick. Well, back to the video, I guess. Today is the day after finding the stronghold. Last episode we are today going to fight the Ender Dragon to get our hands on some end resources, you know, all that jazz, shulker boxes, good stuff, elytra and maybe some nice loot from the end cities. But anyways, I think we have most of what we need. I did manage to spawn one phantom in like, I don't know how many days, like seven or eight days, I don't know. The phantom spawns must have been changed because I remember when you played Minecraft before, they like spawned like crazy, you know, if, if you didn't sleep for, for a couple of days, you couldn't almost not go outside, it was like 20 of them. Now they almost never spawn, and when they spawn, they spawn like one or two a night. It's really weird, but we had looting on our sword, so we managed to get three, uh, three f phantom uh, membranes. Um, and I cooked up some potions here. As you can see, we got six slow falling four minutes, and then we got some strength and some instant health after we killed a witch. And we got also got some strength too. Um, I will have a strength, but it's mostly the slow falling potion that I really want. Um, but we are going to go to the end. And of course, as you saw in the beginning, we got ourselves a trident. It's so, so weird. The first drowned I killed in this world dropped his trident. It was so, I don't know about my luck this, this, uh, in this world actually. But let's put our armor on. Let's make a couple of more torches. Um, and let's head... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Well, now we have a lot of torches. Hello, Lars. So we got our speed potions. And now we can run fast, fast, fast over to our stronghold. I don't really like to fight the dragon. I have done it without dying. And I have also done it with dying. Um, but you know, dying is a part of this game, so yeah. So let's head into the portal. So this leads straight into the stronghold. We do not need the shovel. We do not need this, um, but we will need a pick. Hello. Thank you. Okay, so I think we have most of it. Uh, the bucket, uh, we have slow falling, so it's uh, really not bad. If we're angry and end the man, we could be saved by the water, I think. Still can do that. All right, guys, it's time to fight the dragon. See you on the other side, guys. Okay, so we are in an enclosed area. Wait, wait, let's just break, breach up. I've been watching too much speedrunning, so I started digging right up. But we actually have time to do this. So we can just go up. What is high up? Okay, let's do this, guys. And the first thing that happens.
first thing that happens is an, <laughs> an enderman is aggro me. That's so unlucky, man. We're gonna slow falling, speed, and strength. Now, let's go. That, perfect. Perfect. That was an enderman really close. Let's take the next one. Kind of a good... Uh, Good end island, it's, the pillars are not so high up, we have one really high up there. Are you nervous? Perfect. Someone is shooting at us. Let's go to this side. Let's see which one do we have left. Surprise, so good. Was th that's one also left. So there are two th left, I think. I think this as well. Thank you. So now it's only this tall one here that we need to put down. Thank you. Okay, so now it's just the dragon left. Let's go. Let's go. Don't look down. Where are you? I know I'm quiet, but I am just concentrated. Right? Oh, there's one left. I'm blind. That's how you do it. Now. Now we're done. soon there guys it's not much left are we gonna do this I think we are I'm really nervous man I'm shaking okay let's do this Let's go, let's go, we did it, we did it, we did it guys, we did it, first try baby, first try baby, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, we didn't die, this is, this is incredible, this is incredible, this is incredible, I know I'm, very weirdly happy for this but you know this is incredible okay so uh, let's get out of here all right guys now that was intense it was intense from my point of view let's let's take off our armor here so we look a little better like the boss we are after defeating the ender dragon i don't really know i think i forgot to take my slow falling potion in the beginning or i just didn't notice when it turned off because i fell we 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 were kind of lucky because we fell a, a long way when the dragon hit us the first time and i didn't and i took a lot of damage so that was really weird but i must have just missed out when, I, when the four minutes had gone by so so Lucky for us, but uh, we made it out uh, kind of easily, I have to say. It was a good fight. It was intense and I was nervous because I really didn't want to die. But uh, yeah, now we're done. All right, guys. So we have a lot of levels right now, which we have to do something about. But we're going to drop off some things in the storage at first. So let's start with 14 books. We also gonna make a pickaxe and, and sword and 
uh, shovel as well. Our shovel is not super good. It's, it's uh, oh, it has efficiency for well, that's that's okay, I guess. We also have to go and find some netherite. And yeah, you might have seen that I've started to to do some decorations here. I didn't really finish it uh, though. Cool. We should make a sword and a shovel and a axe and um, yeah maybe a pickaxe as well let's see what we can what we can find we start with sword sharpness four that's really nice that one we want and sweeping edge three that's so awesome an awesome sword um let's leave with the x efficiency four yes look at that look at that thank you thank you game silk touch everything Perfect. Efficiency 4. Should we? Yeah, let's just go with it. Yeah. Standard. Silk touch. That's awesome. That's exactly what I want. And efficiency 4. I'm breaking 3 as well. We got really lucky on this one. So should we make a little a bit of armor as well? Let's see with the these two what we can get. Let's go with protection 4 because that is the best. And respiration 3. Cool, another respiration. Death Strider, okay, we're going with that one. Let's see this for blast protection. No, we do not want that. Death Strider, anything more? Nope, nothing more. Blast protection, I don't want blast protection, man. So I made a iron chest plate just, just so we can get another because blast protection, I want protection four. So let's just make do like that and then we might get unbreaking three now is it possible that it could be something else there is it possible do we have more luck please protection four thank you i don't know what's happening grab this one and let's go and combine some of the armor to give it a really nice to be oh let's it's time to sleep so we got protection four thorns two i'm breaking three that's nice and these boots so we got death strider two and unbreaking two it's it's okay i guess that will do for now you know we're so good at the game we don't need the best armor right yeah all right, so let's head back to the stronghold and uh, make our way out to the end islands and see if we can find a... Uh, oh, I grabbed the, the wrong potion. Oh, I do not... <laughs> this is not what I want, so let's grab a milk bucket here and... Oh, what is happening? Thank you, thank you. Now I'm, I'm just clicking everything now. <laughs> what the fuck? So let's see if we can find... This was a very dangerous... Oh my god. I don't like this. Okay, let's build up a stair, I think. Very carefully. I have a slow falling ready at hand and we should be able to yeah all right so we build our platform and it's time to head out to the outer islands let's go amp up our render distance to i don't know like 27 i think in the end the frame rate should be pretty good so let's see if we were lucky to get a end island near the spawn. Probably not, because we have had so many luck in this game already that I don't think we have any luck left. But let's just head in one direction, so let's head south. So I'm going to start to travel far, far away. And I'll probably tune in as far as soon as I, as I find something interesting. Oh, we have something, we have something, and we have a ship. This is perfect. I don't travel far at all. I'm just left, I, it's like 100 blocks maybe. 
oh my god, this is so awesome. And in some seats, I had I have been traveling like three, four thousand blocks before finding an, an island. So this is awesome. I'm having so much luck on this world. It's unbelievable. Finally, I usually don't have that this much much luck. And it's a big city, which means we will get plenty of shulkers from this city, so we don't have to return to the end so soon. So let's go and raid this end city and pick up the elytra. about that that could have ended really badly so yeah i think it's time to return actually and we have one of those guys over here it's been very successful two end cities really close to each other uh, super lucky um, so thank you for that but for now let's return in our cozy little platform we also need to take the dragon egg so there we got it And we got the dragon egg. Perfect. Let's go back to our base. But um Okay, so let's looky looky what we got here. Oh if I take my ender chest, I should be able to put this out. And this is all of the loot that we managed to get from the end raid. 30 diamonds, a couple of beetroot seeds, I don't know who cares, but yeah. We got some fire protection, chest plates, uh, I'm breaking, yeah, chest plates. And we got diamond helmets, some pants, some shoes, and uh, a lot of gold. Uh, not a lot, but uh, a little bit. Um, we got two elytras. I got one on me, yes. So we got two elytras. We need to get some unbreaking books and some mending books for these guys. And we also got some diamond pickaxes. And we got a sword, kind of a good sword. Almost as uh, this is uh, has loot on it, so it's not that good. But we still doesn't have looting three. But uh, I guess we'll go with looting two as we done the whole season. So we got some iron and uh, yeah, we got a lot of a lot of a lot of good stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna dump this stuff off in the storage and then 
we're going to do something completely else. Remember this place, guys? Yes, the amethyst geo that we found that are just underneath our base. Now, I think I want to end this episode by fixing a little bit of a farmy type build. It's not really going to be a farm. Um, we're going to plane out the floor uh, over here and we're going to fill the walls with smooth basalt. We might throw in some variant, but I do think we might go with only smooth basalt because it has this kind of a luxury look if you really think about it this dark nice luxury look and together with the purple amethyst and the like like uh, glittering stuff i think it will make it super cool contrast actually um, and then i think we m we are going to maybe have something to climb up in the middle so you can reach all the amethyst geodes so you can silk touch them and then underneath the floor we will have a mine card that will collect the stuff that we mine down uh, most of it i guess like 80 percent or something like that might end up on the ground um and and some will catch and, and some will might you know stay on the top we'll see uh, but I think most of it will land on the ground and then a mine card will pick it up and drop it off in a storage area over here um, So I think that's the plan um, About the storage area. We'll see if we get that done today as well or if we only do the redstone and the the geode itself as to say um, We'll see how much time uh, we have um, and we'll see where we end up, but uh, I'm gonna get to building and we'll see each other soon. All right guys, so we have come a bit into the project and we've done two major tasks. One was to erase the, oh, we're almost done with, with two major tasks. So we have replaced the stone with the smooth basalt. We are not really done, we have that wall and this wall left and also the roof. And we're also going to place light sources all the way around. I guess we'll go with uh, maybe glowstone because it's kind of, you won't really see the texture because we are going to have uh, trapdoors on the outside. I think just to, to have some light so you can see the background as well. We'll see a little how, how, we, how we turn out and what we will go with. Um, but anyways, we also played this place down uh, tracks here for the minecart, hopper minecart, to pick up the drops when we are mining this stuff. And we will get a storage area here. And we will also have pathway all around here to reach these uh, different crystals. So you can mine all of them. You know, here we can reach these ones. And, these, uh, um, and we might also have some water flowing down to catch the crystals that uh, ends up on top of the blocks I think uh, I don't really know how I'm just gonna test some things out I think and I have a plan for all hold this area later on that I, I want to be like a facility or something with a lot of cool stuff uh, and some rooms and this long hallway and stuff we can also have some mining and uh, we'll see how it will be in the future but I have, I have some cool ideas uh, but anyway, I'm going to continue working on this, and we'll see how things end up, I guess. Oh my god, I have been digging like a madman. But we have made some serious progress over here. So I just did a, a test harvest by going through over the lines over this and here on both stories. And then I will also make some, make some kind of bridge here don't really know how I my first thought was a glass bridge but then maybe do some like wooden bridge with chains but I don't want it to take over the open feel about this I might just delete it overall because the harvest gained almost a full shulker box now um, and you can still also see a lot of amethyst are landing on other amethyst blocks so we need to have some kind of flush system um, but anyways, this is how it looks now. So we are also we are of course going to do a Total remake of this area as well and the mine will be that way um, So when you will come into this amethyst facility, that will be the first one uh, You're coming in you can take a look at the amethyst. We will have dark hallways here as well So so this purple will really pop I think 
we will also have some lightning uh, in the pathway also, so so we can light up a little bit um, but i think this is uh, this is kind of kind of cool and we also fill the floor with more smooth basalt and we will have the pick the minecart pickup system going around here picking up the amethyst um, and it will it goes out there and then we will bring it up to the main room which will be in here uh, I don't have the design really finished yet in my mind, but I have some idea. I think we're going to do a bright room, like a, a lot of white. And then, of course, the amethyst will really pop in that white uh, environment. Um, has some, some pretty cool ideas, but I'm not really, really, really sure about some of them yet. Uh, but anyway, so you can go around here, of course, and harvest your amethyst shard. Chuk, 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 and this goes all around. And then we will also have a stair up here. So you come to floor number two. And then you can also go here. Don't mind that. I will are not finished. Okay. And you can also go out here and chung 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 chung. I think we'll make a glass bridge because it just feels wrong to have like a big pillar out in this open space. It kind of mess up the whole feeling. Um, but here you can harvest a little bit more if you want to and reach a couple of more amethyst shards. So it's really cool. And this is what we have at the moment. But I've been building for the whole day and yesterday as well. And we also defeated the Ender Dragon and raided End Cities in this episode. So I think I will, I will cut you loose here. And we will return in the next episode and finish this bad boy. And probably do some more. But okay guys, it was awesome to have you here. Awesome that you checked out my video. And if you enjoyed it, please consider giving me a like. And maybe subscribe if you're really, really kind. I will be... A really happy happy minecrafter but we'll see each other in the next one and then we'll finish this amethyst geo see you later guys have a nice day